Stop ballers! This is Kim Che! And Tofu! Yeah! yeah. Alright, we're going to Cool Ghost Basketball, episode number 63, Blue Sky. And... 64. Yes. Yeah, so we're doing two episodes for you guys today. Uh, actually, we'll keep doing two episodes. Yes. And uh, we can't wait till uh, we get to the movie. I know so, so many of you guys, there's so many comments saying movie, 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 because I guess we're going to be seeing all the Generation of Miracles all play together. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. It's it's crazy. I know. Just thinking about it makes me makes me tingle. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're really close to getting to the movie. With two episodes for Kuroko, we'll be finishing half the time. But yeah, um, anyways, we're going to 63 and 64 today. The movie can wait, right? Yes. <laughs> but Blue Sky, I think we're going back into Akashi's past. Yes, Kuroko's past to see oh. what happened with Akashi and his two personalities or two people, whatever this is. Yeah, or yeah, exactly. Well, two Akashis or something. Yeah. So I guess we'll be finding that out. But guys, thank you guys so much for joining us. We're going to 63 and 64. So far, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Oh, shoot. Look at that. What? It's a new opening. Oh, I like Whoa, it. Everybody give me attention. Oh, it's them as kids. Yeah, it's from the middle school. Oh shoot, there's the other gong. Oh, Kuroko and Akashi together. Yeah. Oh, dude, this is gonna be so sick. We get to see the past. Oh, yes. My oh my god, it's the best kids. When Aumina used to smile a lot. <laughs> Wait, Isn't what? that his friend? Wait, yeah, but hold on, we're gonna be seeing Taiko. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, past two. Oh, Kur <laughs> dude, this. Oh, wow. This has got to be the best intro. Yes, we're going to be seeing Taiko. Yeah, this, so this is way before they even joined the basketball team. Yeah. So their relationship was like this way back too. Before yeah. basketball. They're childhood friends. Oh, Kuroko. <laughs> he didn't see him, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's like, where did this guy come from? <laughs> For a second, I feel like there's another stand that says joining the diving club and there's where the uh, oh my <laughs> grand God, blue, blue guys are. <laughs> oh my gosh. His lucky items, the freaking telephone. Oh, uh, they wanted him to join the volleyball team. He said, he said. Oh yeah. Dang, yeah, fancy, so he's rich. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's his friend. Ba -ba -bum. Yeah, if you don't have colored hair, just go back. <laughs> <laughs> go, go join another club. He stays still not knowing what he wants. Kuroko. Wait, what is this? Third string though? Yes. Oh, third string? He was third string. And the last person to be named. Oh, even that third string, he was so happy. Aumine <laughs> Taiki. <laughs> yes. Uh oh. And this is where we see the white hair. Oh Wait. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, he's not here though. And this is where he works hard to make second string. Oh, his friend's uh, bench too. So him and his friend are like the same, on the same page. Remember, the coach is not the one that saw Kuroko's ability. It was no. Akashi. Yes. <laughs> he carried the last game. <gasps> Akashi sent by. Damn. They're like, we're here too, not just Almine. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Kuroko. Ah, this part. どちら様ですか? 
What an honor to be practicing with the first string as a third string, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. no. Did he get kicked from the team? He's just saying oh. he has no chance to be playing. So it's up to him if he wants to be like the cheerleader or not, you know? This is why he said he wanted to quit. Oh, those are wise words. An invisible sixth man. ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。
Wow, I mean, I stood up for clerical this month. Oh my god. I know he'll save us someday. And he did. He was in a fight. Arcade. Oh, shoot. Oh. <laughs> so he beat him up. And brought him here. Oh, this was a closer game. Oh, so he has a timing issue. Wow. Oh, here we go. It's, oh, we got ankle break right away. <laughs> Dad, get on the floor. Because Kuroko's in there yeah. curving it. They don't see Kuroko, so they think the ball is curving. Oh. You see? Oh, yeah. So he's getting the passes in. Yeah. And they think it's Akashi that's giving it the pass, but it's not. It's Kuroko. Except Midoriyama. Oh, this is his first Ignite pass? <laughs> oh, shoot. Number 15. Ah, oh, his friend. Man, I love how Kuroko's uh, basketball, they're showing us this backstory before they get into the ba final boss. Yeah. <laughs> wow, so Kuroko was third string, and um, that's the one that Akashi looked into was his, uh, his invisible or his lack of presence. Yeah, but not only was he on third string, he was pretty much taken off of the team, but it had to be the guy, the coach said, I'll let you stay. It's your decision, but you're worse than third string. And the fact that Almine stood up to Kuroko for Kuroko and was like, dude, you're going to have to demote me. Yes. If you're going to demote him. Yes. Wow, dude. So the more I see the pass between Almine and Kuroko, the Almine's match between yeah the the match between Almin and Kirkle was really personal like yeah. that was a really big match man damn if I watched this first and then I watched Almin versus Kirkle I think I would have a totally different feeling me uh, too watching it. yeah yeah and and just like just what Almin said about in the later on having uh that Kirkle would be the one to bring them to save them right. And that's what Kuroko's doing in this third season, second season. Well, he's saving them differently. It, yeah, yeah, of Alvin course. Because is saying is saving the team, but Kuroko's doing differently. Yes. But holy cow, this guy really rose from the bottom of the bottom. Yes. Holy cow. And Kuroko's passion for basketball was more so because of his friend, I feel like. Yeah, I think so too. His friend pushed him to do better and be better because he wanted to play against his friend. Right, right. Because he had this goal. And that's why we and but we haven't seen anything about his friend this episode. I thought we were going to, but we haven't seen anything from him. Just messages. Yeah, just messages. So I think we're gonna be seeing it later when I just do you think that Takeo's gonna go against his friend and they're just gonna destroy the crap out of his friend uh, and his friend's like I quit. I yeah. Hate, I hate you. Yeah, because you saw the opening. The opening is everybody is playing against him. You see him just all over the place with all the characters, and they're just scoring, you know. Yeah, maybe that's how uh, he got his friend to quit basketball, was going against Takeo. And Takeo just destroyed the crap out of him. Most likely. Yeah. And Akashi doesn't seem like a bad person in these episodes. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't really... Yeah, he doesn't... I mean, his attitude... I mean, actually, the whole generation of Miracles' attitude is completely different. Yes. From Takeo now. Um, their attitude will start changing once they just become too unstoppable uh, when Kisei joins. Yeah. Because when Kisei joins, then it just becomes way too easy. Yes. And that's where everybody starts changing. They're like, damn, what, what now? <laughs> what now? Yeah. And Akashi was the one to bring out Kuroko's talent. Akashi? Yeah, he was able to help Kuroko find it on his own. Yeah. Which was a misdirection. Mm -hmm. And I think that misdirection book wasn't like, you know, basketball. It was more of a misdirection of like, you know, magic. Um, how to do, how, how to misdirect people. Because misdirection is not really a basketball term. No. Yeah, it's more of a magic term. And that's what he read. And um, yeah, everything he's doing is from that book. It's dark and eerie. Right? It's like a, a weird atmosphere. 
Whoa, that was cool. Hmm? Oh, hi, Saki. Yeah, so. Oh. Yeah, all that happened. happened. This. Oh, this so this is where it says Kisa is the starter. Yes. Damn. Because freaking Akashi knows that Kisa has way more potential. Oh, and wow. this is where we see the Akashi. Ah, so that's oh. what he's talking about. Which one's the true Akashi? He has like two personalities. Yeah. He's like, damn, I didn't sign up for this. No. <laughs> First string. Oh, the coach. Oh, oh, wait, oh. hold on. Wait. <laughs> Let's see the wrath of this coach. <laughs> oh, he's a hard ass? Yeah. Everybody's shocked by this news. <laughs> Stop eating while you walk. <laughs> Two opposites. Yeah. Because he has like chips all over his mouth. So this is where you kind of feel the tension between the, the teammates, huh? Yes. <laughs> oh, Kuroko. Oh. What? Uh, this is three, three on three, or oh, no, yeah. two on three. Uh oh, it's all a mess. Dude, he knocked his shoes off. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're all fighting. There's no, there's no control in this team. No. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Why are you fighting? You guys started oh. fighting first. Damn. <laughs> oh, he's puking. <laughs> but no, I'm gonna kiss it. Fifty points, Almine. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love the way this guy just could a call. Oh, hey, little kid. Dude, look at him. Whoosh. I mean, you think by a certain amount of points, they showed him mercy. Uh, and this is when his power becomes too great. Talk to him. You have to talk to him. <laughs> She's like, <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><
So he's saying the opposite of what his friend said. Oh, is that like the opposite? Yeah, because he said, try your best. <laughs> oh, it's just snacks. <laughs> but they don't even care because, like, they already know they're going to win. Oh. So this must be, like, someone that I mean it, like, respected. Yeah. From the game. Oh, they're his friend. Yeah. Oh, that's rice? rice? I thought it was, like, a glare. <laughs> Me too. Yup, Teiko's gonna destroy them and make him quit basketball. Oh, All yeah. the people. First, oh, okay. First one is the Almina and his boy. Yeah. yeah. Uh oh. Bad luck starting. What? Oh, yeah, see? Oh, this part, yeah. So oh, it was because man. of him. Yeah. It's me. Only one who can beat me is me. What is he holding? What's this lucky Look, item? Looks like a light. Like a lamp, right? Oh, no. no. Oh, he cannot yes. even go watch him. Damn. So it's like all his friends are at a loss. And now we know why Almany... He took it so much harder during that one match. The only one that can beat me is me. It's because this guy was supposed to be good, so he was looking forward to it. Right. But the guy gave up and said, you're a monster. Right. So it was more than just, you know, a regular game. Or, or it, was, it was... He had some kind of connection. Yes. Or some kind of relationship with that guy. And that guy was probably like, you know... It's the same thing as, let's say, you know... Um, from... Kuroko going against like Midori Mashitoko, right? And then they're like, we'll beat you next year. Yeah. And then next year comes and then Midorima is just like, you're a monster. I can't beat you. And Kuroko's like, damn, like, what is this? Right? Mm -hmm. So that's why, that's where it started with Aomine. Yeah. Whoever, uh, only one who can beat me is me. So I love that phrase. Mm -hmm. and I really want the tattoo like right here. Can no, I get it? please. I'm serious. No. Why? Why? The only one who can beat no. me is me. Oh my god, that's so cringy. Why is that cringe? That's so cringy to put on you. You want to be tattooed with that for life? Yeah, because I want to remind myself that the only one who can beat me is me. Because I... No regrets. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> that one's on this side, okay? And it's <laughs> by oh R-A-G-R-E-T. Yeah, oh my the god. only one who can beat me is being in like Japanese letters. What about that? No! At least it's in Japanese words, so the only people that can actually read it and understand it is Japanese people. Or and people then they'll that start laughing it. at you. Why? They'll be like, wow, that guy's badass. Like, he must he must have gone through some stuff. Why? It's like, dude, I want to get it. What's wrong with that? Okay. okay, then what? It's either that or, or I am absolute right here. So when they look at me in the eye or look at me in the forehead, they knew. It's like, wow, what a tattoo. <laughs> No regrets. <laughs> yeah. Come on. No? You're kidding me. I was, no, I'm really thinking about it. No. Please, no. I didn't, I didn't think it was going to be that cringe. <laughs> the only one who can beat me is me. Yeah. Have you talked to other people about this? No. Well, no? I'm talking to all you guys. There's thousands of people watching. So now you guys can tell me. Comment down below. I mean, is that cringe or not? Like, I, I really want to get it. I'm not even... It's just like, no joke. I want to get it. I've been wanting to get a tattoo. I, I've been thinking, like, what kind of tattoo should I get? And I, my first spot I want to get is up here, right here. But um, I've been thinking, before I even watched this episode, I was like, man, should I do the Aominus? Uh, the only one who can beat me is me. And I can't think of anything else. That's the only thing that's on top of my head. Oh, man. That's a really cocky tattoo. How is that? That's a cocky tattoo. Oh, is that being cocky? Oh. The only one who can beat me is me. But it's good confidence. Yeah, it's it's not really cocky. It's just basically saying that um, the only way you can improve is by, you know, beating yourself. Just make sure you don't play against somebody that sees that tattoo is like, oh my god, I want to challenge you. And then they challenge you and then they win. No, and they're, they're no. like, okay, you my need to put my name there. Now. No, my <laughs> message for that is that, you know, I, 
the, my message for that is not saying that nobody can beat me on what I do. What I'm saying is no, uh, only one who can beat me is me is that um, when things go, uh, when I'm not doing good or anything, it's just a battle be between my, me and myself. That's true. Not yeah, to, yeah. Not saying that I'm against better than people. every. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's not against people. I'm saying that the only way I can improve is by beating myself and myself. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's and what I mean. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But I guess I guess if if you did look at it that way, it, it does sound really cocky, so I didn't even think about that too. But your way is good too. Because yeah. Because the only one that can beat you is you. If you let yourself down and you give up, the only yeah. one that can beat you is you. Yeah, the only the only way I can give up is through myself. And then yeah. I'll get a tattoo that says me too. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Same. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't doesn't that sound right though? Like the only one who can beat me is me. It's just like if if I if I'm almost out of time, if I give up on something, then that's just me beating myself. Yes. Yeah. That's a good tattoo. Now it makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not saying that I'm better than everybody. I'm just saying it's for my own self. Yeah. And it's I'm I'm having it right here. It's not like I'm having it right on my arm showing it to everybody. It goes, ha. Ha. You know, I'm, it's just for myself. It's only for myself or only for myself to look at. And in Japanese. And in Japanese, yeah. So it'll be really cool. And then I'm not done yet. And then put Aumina's face right here. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're, we're we're kind of getting out. All right. So, anyways, this episode now we're understanding um, uh, Aumina's why Aumina is like that. Mm -hmm. um, Akashi becomes the the head co uh, no tap captain. Yes. Of the team and Kuroko's friend lost. So what I thought was that Kuroko was going to actually beat the crap out of his friend. Me too, I got it wrong. Yeah, me too. That's what I thought, and his friend's gonna... That's how his friend quit, but actually, it wasn't. It was... Aumine was like that. It was Aumine's story that's like that. Yeah, Aumine's story, and his friend lost before he got to Kuroko. I really, really do enjoy the backstory of Kuroko right now. Like, me I really too. like the fact of how they're doing all of this right before the final boss. I agree. Yeah. I agree. We're seeing the two sides of... Akashi, how he has a cold side and he also has a positive side, but then he's pushing them too hard because he doesn't want them to lose their motivation. He has to because yeah, no, but he has to because look at it, look at Aomine, look at yeah. Murasakibara, look at all of them later. You know that's true. It's like they they're gonna lose motivation once you're just too good at it. But what I thought was that look, if you guys are being too good at it, you guys are only middle school. Be good now so that when you get to high school, you'll you'll challenge a lot true. better players. That is true. Yeah, so, you know, I, I mean, I thought that at least they'll be looking forward to that. Wait Just it play out. it Just out, wait it out, and then once you get to high school, then, you know, you can look forward to high school. And then once you look forward to high school, then you got college, right. college, and try going for the NBA. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. That was Kuroko's Basketball. Thank you guys so much. Uh, we'll see you guys uh, next time for two more episodes. So we're going to be keep doing two episodes of Kuroko. So I know you guys are excited. I know. Oh, yeah. yeah, I know. I know. I'm excited too. But thank All right. You. Yeah, guys. But thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time. And have a great day. Yes, have a great day. Bye. The only one that can beat me is me. Yep. No regrets.